I just recently rewatched my favorite movie of all time, and now I have the urge to talk about it. If I talked about everything I love about this movie, we would be here all day. So instead, I will dedicate this video to a 10 second shot of an eyeball and why I think it's amazing. On the surface level, the eye is an obvious callback to the original movie, which features an eye looking out at the world in the opening scene. However, it doesn't take long to see that what these eyes are conveying to the viewer is very different. Blade Runner literally shows you the world through the eyes of someone living in it. The main focus is on this futuristic city, and this eye shot shows the viewer how small a person feels in this world. The city is terrifying, but at the same time there is a beauty to it. In 2049, there's nothing to reflect out of the eye. The focus is not put on what the eye is seeing, but what the viewer is seeing. This focus on the human eye is directly connected to the film's message of meaning being found within oneself. Blade Runner paints a bleak picture of the future. Cities stretch for what seems like forever, and advertisements plaster every square inch to try and liven up the world. By 2049, it is far worse it is hard to tell what is a power plant and what is an artificial crop farm. The world is no longer dominated by living beings and no amount of viewing the world through rose tinted glasses can hide that fact. 2049 doesn't show the world through the eye because there is nothing of value to be found there. The story of 2049 is about learning to love the miracle of life. The eye is beautiful. Life is beautiful. You are beautiful. You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie. Hope you enjoyed this. I plan on making more essays, especially on this movie. And I still got shorts I want to film, so fall for more of that. I'll, I'll uh, end this with a recommendation. I recommend everyone watch Gotti. It's on Amazon Prime. So you can watch that. It's good. It's, it's, it's Kino.